Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 14 on the Mysterious JG. Um, as hot and heavy as the combat with Sun Tzu is, it'll be a long, prolonged fight to finish him. But uh, we're... I mean, we're just basically blunting his entire army right now. As we win all these individual engagements, you can see he's he's marched a bunch of troops out, at least with 5,000 troops in Jian Ye. Wu and Hu Ji and Jian Nan, like they've got... They've got troops. They'll build up more by the time we get to them. But like, he he'd had a city with like fifty thousand, another city in the high thirties. Those troops, these huge pitched battles where we just overwhelm them, they, they are not going to be able to last. You can see, at this point, and this is where I'm like, I don't know how much of the map I have to take over before early victory is offered. We've got more. We've got a, more than half, less than two thirds of China. The real problem here for them is that, um, well, I guess at, their, at the very height of his power, uh, Cao Cao was never quite this powerful, because he didn't have these territories here. He more or less had this border against Sun Tzu, and I guess before Liu Bei became the king of Han Zhang, at one point Cao Cao held this, but like, yeah, we've got these territories here, which is like the rich lands that Shu and Wu always fell out over, which stopped them from ever teaming up against Wei. But yeah, we are more powerful at this point than anybody ever was during the Three Kingdoms era, other than um, Jin, when it became Jin, and finished off Wu, having already taken over Shu. Still, we have not been offered an early victory, so we'll have to see what happens. There is, I believe... A um, coalition against us, or am I? No, you know what? I'm thinking of what happened off screen again. A coalition got formed against us with Sun Tzu and Liu Zhang and Liu Pan, but I believe technically there's no coalition right now. It's just that we're at war with everybody else. Yeah, there's no coalition. We're enemies with everybody against except Xi Ji whom we will attempt to annex uh, once we've taken out Liu Pan. We'll see what happens. But uh, Xi Ji is obviously not going to be a threat. I have a feeling the last force to fall might be uh, Liu Zhang, just because the geography makes conquering his territory such a pain in the ass. But as you can see, he's got big troop concentration right here at the border where uh, Agamon Marmaron's forces are attacking. Looks like they're finally launching kind of an attack. No, you guys are reinforcing a gate. You guys are heading back to a city. What the hell are you guys doing? You're building another catapult tower? They're just building towers, guys. They're not attacking at all. Let's, let's see if we can... Hold on. I told them to capture Mindji uh, Gate. They are allowed to attack, they are allowed to transport. Mindji Gate is. So we had this vague, mind you, I had this vague idea, oh, maybe that will force them to bypass these other targets and march here. Because that would actually be the, the, the smart thing to try and do. Even though your supply lines could get cut off from behind if you don't leave anybody here to defend them. But no, this is the way you cut in here and you take over Chengdu. Nope, they're not doing it. So it's annoying to have them ignoring my orders. So at this point, I'm just going to go back to giving them general orders. Akman Moran, please bring Division 2 together. Right, understood. Okay. Alright, I think uh, I did say we were going to jump straight into action, so let's do it. Um, I guess this is what we want to watch and not... Not this, because they're not going to be getting over there. Right. I guess we could watch the naval battle. Let's watch the naval battle. 
Because all that's going to happen over here is we're going to surround and destroy uh, Chen Wu eventually. These guys have... Well, he's got really high morale because he won that duel. Yeah, Chen Wu is, is screwed. He's badly outnumbered. So let's keep an eye on the naval battle because that could go either way. Man, see, the fire attack is successful. Impel unit was wrapped in flames. We are not able to restrain them. These are always successful in knowing the morale of Sun says Sun Fu unit by 16. Please rejoice. Please love me forever. Oh, wow. Yuan Chao is losing a lot more troops uh, than uh, I thought you'd see his in their fight. My glorious banners! It's Crest Lujiang. I have captured an enemy. Could I really be talented? I think you know you are. Okay, Zhao Shan. Officer of Wu. Okay, first of all, he's got... Is he injured? No, he just has terrible stats. Uh, following Zhang Zhao's plan, he quietly slipped into Shu and attempted to lure Sun Shang Jiang and her son Liu Shan back to Wu. They were pursued by Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei, and although Sun Shang Jiang escaped, Liu Shan was taken back to Zhou Shan, and Zhou Shan was stabbed in the left chest by Zhang Fei and killed. Okay, so he's part of that plot event. Now that you have captured me, what good will it be to you? Well, it could be some good if you join us. No matter what you say, I will not surrender. Yeah, let's throw him in jail. We don't have like a particular reason to murder this guy. Although, he's, again, he's not a particularly great officer, so we could just release him. But... You're not getting away with this? Yeah, Li, uh, Yuan Shao is not a match for uh, Tai Chi Tsi. Ma Chao has visited Kublai. I'm surprised. They did say he could hire him. I know you would do well in our army. How about it? Would you want to join? I already have a master I'm serving now. Yeah, Genghis Khan is working for us with the... You want shoot, there's something suspicious happening in Yang'an. It seems some spy is at work. Uh, Zhu Zhu, are you not going to help in the naval battle here? According to the rumors, it's Zhao Vadim, yay! Since the army's our forces marching towards Yang'an, Looks like Kublai will not be joining us. We found a Disorder Tome. Disturb Tomes. By Kui is our land. We have brought down Lu Xiang. Okay, we just never changed his orders to not be attacking there, so. I think we might lose this fight, but at least it'll be really close. 500s. Because they're just better at us in the water. I should see in particular is kicking Yuan Shao's ass. I don't know about getting duels on the water either. I think they 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 might just turn around now. Their initial orders were to attack Da Jun's unit, and she is in Lu Jiang. Let's see, they got 40,000 troops. 
and about 120,000 supplies. Obviously need to get some of that down there. I think we are 22,000 troops plus 25 will bring us up to, it would be at less than 50. Because this place can't hold that many because it's a small city now. But I still think this will work. up and somebody could actually start doing something useful over here because we no longer have a bunch of guys assigned. Alright, so Other than the fact that Don Everstar is probably going to move eventually. People who don't have other jobs as overseers or something. Well, it's just Ma Ridi right now. Okay. I thought I'd stacked up some officers who were ready to go, but I guess not. a good choice. Um, Xiao Shang's actually a good choice too. Blood Guard Commander, okay. Looks like uh, everyone's doing something. I mean, we could move Suma Yi. Let's move those two for now. Simba. I think we've already decided that uh, Vulture Bobo is moving over there, but I don't think I can do that right now. Because he's in the middle of other tasks. These are two very mediocre people, but... Maybe I can put them in charge of something that better people are doing. Alright. Jujuan and Falger, you will be replaced. So whatever you were doing... Get those other... Ugh, you were in charge of the main, main deal, though. Okay. 
so we can put... You can be in charge there, that's fine. And then Falger, you will be replaced by just... guy. Um, not that guy. He's kind of terrible, but you know, whatever. And then Jin Ye, nine officers. Rune On ended up with too many officers, didn't it? Yeah. Make sure it's got people doing everything that needs to be done. They may have picked up weird colonies, but no. Okay. Sort of the hub that uh, supplies end up at. Keep like one extra guy here? I don't know what the hell, it's sent them all. But any of these guys out on the march? Because they might. No? Okay. Let's keep one guy. I want to keep one guy with, like, transporter skills here. Never mind. We'll, uh... We'll let you stay. That's four people, and I'm sending... No, why not? I mean... This will be five people, and I'm sending three, and... Yeah, there'll probably be too many people. Okay, never mind. There'll be too many people over there eventually. Mm-hmm, the four of us. Yes, sir. Okay. Sanction events. Okay, events are happening. Oh, conquering Huanan. That's the thing. We did it. Now Huanan is ours. Let us continue and take Giang province so we can hold both sides of the Yangtze. Oh, you're right. Let's do that then. Thousand doctrine experience. Okay. I think it's going to be conquering territories and not reading books that will eventually get us Jushi's Revenge. This is a cool one, but uh, I don't know if we're going to see it because, uh, well, if we make it to January 1st, we might. It'll kill two people who might both be working for us, actually. For the following officers, they have the same lineage. I don't know. So that's a neat little event from the book, but um, let's go ahead and get some more doctrine experience here. Oh, we have finally taken hold of Zhang Yuan. Yes, everyone, you have done a great job. The Shou Dynasty had the capital Zhang Yuan. Yes, that's us, isn't it? Oh, wait, you mean some other Shou Dynasty. And we're Zhang, right? Yeah. During the spring and autumn period. In other words, it is the sign that you will be the one to rule the land now that you have control of Zhang Yuan. Ha ha ha! I will have to work harder to live up to your expectations. Yeah, whatever, sir. Yes. Sure. Okay. 2000 and an extra fancy uh, sound was played. With a ballad. Barely. 2000 barely moved the. moved anything, did it? Okay. Well. Burn Impel's unit again, why not? Liu Pan army, nope, we're about to take it, so why would we weaken their cities? Taishi C morale, absolutely. Not interested in improving relations with them, we are in open war and we're gonna stay there. Um, investment, public order in Yang'an. Uh, 
Level quarter is creeping back in um, city's name I'm blanking on Yang on. Although, nope, there's a bandit unit, so. Somebody needs to do with it all. Do you feel like dealing with some bandits? Actually, this guy is not an overseer anywhere, so if he deals with the bandits, it won't uh, reduce our uh, domestics at all. Hopefully these guys don't manage to take over anything. They're heading for Yang'an, so that's fine. They're, if they're actually heading for Yang'an, we'll wipe them out before they can do anything. It is kind of annoying, though. We need to get the order back, and it doesn't... There's nothing for it except time. Yang Zhao is still kind of sitting there. They seem to be concentrating forces there, maybe. Like, where is this unit heading? It's bringing 3,000 troops to Zhang Yao. This guy is bringing 4,000 troops, I would assume, to Zhang Zhao. Yep. They are amassing troops at Zhang Jiao, whether it's to attack or because they think we're going to attack, which of course eventually we are. It's hard to say. Meanwhile, we got... They're just busily building towers over here. Building up more and more guys in Baishui Gate. Got almost as many guys there as in Hanjong. It's getting a little ridiculous. To me. Does seem like it's time to join in the attack here, though. Because I don't know if, uh, I mean, the Dream Master Huan Zhang should still be here, but, um, Yeah, he's the recruitment overseer. Liu Pan, Wang Wei, Huang Zhang. They have various guys with titles who could direct a lot of troops. There's a pretty big drop off after Huang Zhang as far as how effective people are in battle. So, I mean, we might see, uh, we might see them coming after us at some point. But for now, it does look like they're kind of just letting our, sea, our catapults just kill them. Let's have, uh, Huan Zhang help out here. Or not Huan Zhang, I mean, uh, Zhang Liao. What is your order? You are just kind of... Yeah, they don't know what to do with themselves right now. They're just kind of hoping they get forgotten about. These guys are from uh, Jinye. So if we have an extra officer in Jinye, they should probably take over Baku. Are there people recruiting here? There are. Okay. This might be why you don't give away all of your officers, JG. We will put Lita's grandma in charge because training is a thing that they can... Somebody else can handle that. 
Even with the fame's cut in half by the fact that they're already doing something, I think um, they should be more effective than most of those officers. We'll have somebody else come in and do the training. Dang Long can do that, it's fine. Leave it to me. Mm, mm. They're still not quite sure what they're doing. Okay, now we've got all of our troops here. We could decide to march. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Now we get a uh, nice fish unit going here. Maybe another fish unit going here. And JG Mystery with a nice goose unit for ranged. Can have 22,000 with a huge tower unit behind them. And we've still got troops left over, or guys left behind. thing to do is to make sure that we protect Frox's knee lock. Yep. That should mess him up pretty big time. They're kicking up a lot of dust with all their marching, apparently. That's really going to mess them up. Because uh, even if they pulled their forces back, it would be difficult for them to to hold that. I'm almost tempted to make them march on Wu instead. Okay. We're about to take Luo. Just use these guys to ensure that they don't escape. Well, he can continue to go and take y y the land of Ying Yang there, but um, Cao Hong will finish off these uh, siege units before they can escape, and Dion Wei will march on the land of Ying Yang. And I'm thinking very shortly, Liu Pan will be out of the game. Anything left to do? People, we didn't do uh, any of this. <laughs> Shooting you. I just throw in gold at people who are at 97 loyalty. What do I care? I guess it's possible this guy will join us eventually, but not right now. 
So we can see if we got a few things to search for. You know what else we could do, honestly? They are really piling up. Let's use some of these. Uh, we'll just use a few turns. A few orders here on uh, books. Check them out. Um, you can certainly learn stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff you don't know. You can learn to become more restrained in your life. <laughs> Just tiny, tiny, tiny increases in fame, but I would like to see if we can max that out before the game is over. I'm looking for portraits that don't look familiar. They're, yeah, this guy's going to be great. Except he can't learn anything. He's too terrible. He's courageous. Not in possession of the formation necessary for this tactic. Okay. Alright, never mind. He doesn't get to learn anything. Or very little that he gets to learn. Four more orders. I may come to regret this. I might realize it's something I desperately should have done with some of these orders, but, uh... You know, you want to shoot. No, you've long since learned every tactic that we could teach you because... It was a matter of, uh, just pumping books into you when... We've had you all along, so we're just throwing books at you when, uh... We were trying to, you know... Teach anyone anything they could learn. Two more. I'll call it a video. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go, folks. That's going to be it for this session. Um, and, uh, well, this video and this session for me, I'm going to have to call it, uh, I recorded uh, two weeks worth of videos and one uh, big long sit down on a weekday night when I probably should have not done that. Um, but at any rate, a few things to look out for next time. We need to get eliminate these bandits before they can cause any problems. We won the big showdown here, more or less. We still got some troops under. Uh, Chen Wu's command, but basically we got some unaccompanied siege weapons, or most all that's left of Sun Tzu's attempt to march out of Changsha and to take Wu Ling, which we asked him to do a long time ago when he was our ally, and he wouldn't do it. Now, we're going to take Wu Ling, and we're going to take Chai Sang, or Changsha. Chai Sang is actually being a little bit more of a problem. One of the battles that is not going well for us, uh, not that surprisingly, we're having a bad time uh, fighting Wu on the river. So we might need to just take some losses here. Like I remember in RTK 13, just throwing troops and troops and troops and troops and troops at trying to beat Wu on the water. I, was, I just had to drown them in blood eventually. There's just so many troops lost on both sides to eventually win because we could not, I did not have the tactical advantage there, but we had to eventually beat them on the water. We just couldn't get to their cities otherwise. So we might have something similar, but hopefully um, we can just find a way to, I don't know, if we get uh, we get Changsha, uh, we can start shuttling troops over there, take over Guiyang. I mean, we've got a foothold. But we can come at Chai Sang from the south eventually if we just get landed. The main thing is, it can be difficult to get Jian Ye, Chai Sang, Changsha in the first place. I believe the force we have coming out of Guanling is going to be unstoppable for them. But, if it can be stopped, it will be stopped on the water, so I do need to be a little careful. Here we got Scenic Lake Biwa, but it's not really good. Uh, but no, really, we got a big naval throwdown here. They're trying to march out of Jin Ye to pressure Lu Jiang, but I think they're going to have to pull back. Um, at which point I have to decide, do Don Everstar and Bobo 
head towards Jian Ye in pursuit? Or do we pull them back to start building up Lu Jiang? The real deal is that in the long term, it's going to take forever to conquer Liu Zhang, but it's not going to be difficult combat. It's going to be difficult maintaining supply lines moving into such a pain in the ass terrain. But um, we're going to find ourselves, like, you know, they've got 55,000 troops at Jitong, but eventually we're going to launch the real attack. And it's going to get difficult. Yang An having these bandit problems is going to be a problem. But as we eventually stabilize Yang An, just waves of armies are going to come through. They can't shut down Jiang Zhu. Like, this, this path between Yang An and Jiang Zhuo is the closest thing we have to a nice open road. We, we're, you're not going to be able to just, like, stall us with towers and shit like they can north of Jitong. There's enough room that our troops can actually maneuver, have a decent-sized pitched battle, overwhelm them. That's what'll be happening eventually. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. When we come back next time, there's there's still a lot going on, and there's still a good bit of this left. But I think we're in the falling action, guys. See you next time.